cold, gloomy January morning was fitting for this final goodbye to a fallen hero. How devastating it must be for his family, for the police community. I know they're very close. Hundreds of Officer Woods police brethren serving during the procession, lining Spring Grove Avenue and giving a final salute to their brother in blue. There, there's something special about that blue line. The blue line, the brotherhood showing up from east, west, north and south and civilians looking to pay their final respects and say thank you to the man known to his community as a hero. You stood out here today in the cold with your flag to say thank you to Officer Woods. What did yes. this moment mean to you? Um, it means a lot to me. I, I think everybody should you know, at least step up and if they see a police officer or fireman, even veterans or, uh, you know, servicemen that they should thank them. And that was one of the more striking images of Mark Antoni we saw with his flag. He walked up Spring Grove Avenue with his flag and held it there for the procession. And he says he lives in Coleraine and he just had to be here to pay his final respects to Officer Dale Woods. Sharia Mike, back to you. Ashley, you've been in front of the funeral home there uh, since 11 o'clock this morning, waiting for that procession. Anything unique that stood out to you? Well, two unique things there, Mike. Uh, this busy road, as you can see, during that time, you could hear a pin drop. Now you know that it's loud here, but you could hear a pin drop during that time because it was so quiet. Also, this was very unique. Uh, my photographer, Mark Slaughter, and I were talking about this. It was a gloomy day all day here today. And as soon as Officer Woods' hearse went into the gates there in the cemetery, it, the sun came out and opened up. And, you know, not to be overly dramatic, but if you've been to a funeral of a loved one or someone that you care about, you look for that semblance of them smiling down and just that they're, they're there with you in spirit. And I believe that was just a remarkable moment when the sun came out in the midst of this gloomy day. Right here, live in Spring Grove, on Spring Grove Avenue, Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5. All right, Ashley, live for us all day. Thanks so much. It's funny that Ashley.